what's happening report we're wrapping up the year got a lot of questions you know king's pride here is taking off actually end of summer but all the questions of what's going on well this year at marine tech we have sold all five boats and so we're down to one which is a good number uh, belongs to the boat club but um, we got a lot happening next year so first the most important thing is students are signing up for fall classes we still have room if you're looking to learn how to fix boats Skagit Valley College is the place to go but although the King's Pride is taking off we're still going to follow this along we have lots of fun stuff um, we're going to the new hydro vein is here sales are coming Jennifer King with K&R um, our staff is going to help with some electronics. We got all sorts of great things that we will continue to follow with this project and lots of other projects that you'll get to see. For example, we are still getting calls and emails now that we refit this boat. I've got to look at a Tanya 37. There's some old IOR boat, I think, that um, they use for Doctors Without Borders. And, you know, so we got to look at other boats. There will definitely be new boat projects that are going to happen. Uh, there's a video we got to see this really cool powered barge it's a hydraulic thing with an electric car we're going to document that we're doing a documentary this fall it's going to be a lot of fun um, bringing that from the from the islands over here to marine tech so that's a project that we're going to do A couple other things. Let's go walk around the shop and I'll let you know what we got coming this fall. Okay, this is something we put together. We put this together this year and Matt and I have got a plan. We're going to build six new training aids for our diesel engine program and we're going to make them stackable. We're going to order two new Yanmars, two Volvos, two Betas, and build some new skids with some of our local boatyards. So we got to have quality equipment if we want to do training for our students and so we'll be putting those together in the next season here at marine tech in the lab we've got some great things happening lots of tech tips i've got more tech tips than time but we'll keep publishing those this is super cool this is our first my first actual example of stray current corrosion that happened underway this got eaten up on a trip to Alaska. And so we're gonna do some documentation about what stray current does, both AC, DC, and some lab experiments, tech tips. So stay tuned over the next year. Those of you that are following us, lots of great tech tips coming on. Uh, kind of wrap this up for the, the season. There's gonna be another video we're working. Sam Devlin came up. I mean, these, these engines can really be beautiful. They can be if you like engines. I love engines, actually, yeah. that's the video. All right, well, looking forward to it. So you're going to design a boat I'm, around this? I'm working on something. You know, my current shop is limited to about 40 to 44 feet is the maximum I can do. It's got to be a pretty big boat because this is a pretty big engine. Um, in fact, I would be overgunned, really, even with a 44-foot boat. But that's what I'm thinking, and I'm thinking double-ended. I, you that's, know, that's a theme. Yeah, I, you know, I, 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 I wrote a little article once about uh, uh, about my proclivity towards double enders, which kind of snuck up on me. I didn't realize I was a double ended yeah. guy, but but I think I did a. I think the statistic was I seventy two percent of the boats I own are double enders. Well, and that, so that crept up on that's me. A, that's but, a solid number. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what I'm leaning towards right now. Super cool. He is designing a boat to go around this Gardner engine. We've already got a couple uh, Gardner engine videos. We're going to take Radiant Star out and uh, with the big 8L3 for a staff meeting this fall. So it'd be super cool. But Sam, we're going to put the new gear and paint this up and take it to Olympia to his shop. We know where there's another running five cylinder right here uh, in the northwest. I'm going to go check that out. And so lots and lots of stuff happening here so thanks for watching for this entire year uh, we're having fun at marine tech with our videos and 
and having you follow along. So send us some notes. We're going to take a little bit of time off this summer, but uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in the fall. Thanks for watching.